Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be making some steak plantain tacos. Here are the spices we'll be using today. Some parsley, some salt, some all-purpose seasoning, some red pepper, dry pepper, and um, some bullion powder. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to use to season my steak. And trust me, oof, that steak, steak, oh my goodness, tastes so good. I was literally drooling. So what I'm doing is frying all the sp um, spices on the steak, blasted it in. And what I do is I put it on there. I let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes before I start to cook the steak. Because I love pepper. I love my spices. I love my food well seasoned. Okay. All right. That's what I'm doing right here, you know, making sure we got all the seasoning on all sides of the steak so it's all evenly tasteful, okay? So I'm heating up my pan right now and then I'm going to pour in some oil and let it heat up quite nicely too. It needs to be really hot before I put in my steak, my well seasoned steak, okay? <laughs> Alright, there we go. You hear that seasoning sound? Mm -hmm. I'm trying some garlic, All right. anyway, some butter. And then I'm gonna blast it on the steak, you know, the 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 butter, the sauce. I keep blasting my sauce on the steak. Um, let it cook for a few minutes on one side before flipping it to get it to a nice golden colored crust on the outside. And when the two sides. I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to put it in a pan and put it in the oven at about uh, 200 degrees. And I'll let that cook to about well done, but not burnt. Okay. Because that's how we like it in the house. While that is in the oven, we're going to boil some water. Some water, put some water on the stove top, add some salt. And we're gonna wash our plantains. Cut them into fine chunks. And put them in water. Allow it to cook until it's soft. And um, yeah. When it's soft, we take them out of the boiling water and um, 
take off the bag, put them in a blender or food processor. Are you all like me? Sometimes you just eyeball the measurements for your food or you actually take the time to measure each out and every one of it. Anyways, I blended it to about this consistency and I'm adding some flour to actually make it moldable like you see here. Yeah. <clears throat> mold it into little balls and flatten it out into the shape of tacos and um, do that for all the bunch I have before I can go. Okay, one thing to learn from, you know, flatten it out, make sure you roll it out to be flat, thin enough. Don't be like me. I was lazy. I did not flatten it out to a thin layer but it didn't turn out bad let's be honest okay but i feel like if it was a little bit more thin it would be great okay <clears throat> let's keep going i'm done rolling it out so now i'm gonna toast it up in the pan a little bit and um, yeah, once one side is toasted, we flip it to the other side to get cooked as well. And our steak is done now, so we're gonna slice it up. And here we go. Guys, look at that steak. Just look at that steak. Mm -mm. Just look at how juicy. Oof. At this point, I was ready to eat, honestly. Let's keep going. And um, yeah. I went ahead and diced it into smaller chunks. And yeah, now I'm going to slice my toppings like the onion, the tomatoes, the avocado, whatever toppings you like. But I slice mine into tiny, as you can see, tiny slices. You all, at this point, we are going to assemble the taco and dive right into it. And yeah, I made a sauce to go with it. And this sauce goes well with steak as well. Look at that. Yummy goodness. God, try it. Let me know how it goes like share subscribe to your next time bye bye and yeah if you want to know how to make the sauce comment down below let me know see you next time bye bye